playing my beautiful new bakun clarinet that I'm in love with because it tickles my heart. It's got such a sweet sound and I'm here to visit Maury and he's going to t tweak and twiddle and fix and diddle all the little things about it that I want so that it'll even do more for me when I want to play. <laughs> It's an intimate relationship you have with an instrument. It's intimate. It's not just a clarinet. It's something very special. And it becomes, it actually, the more you play it, the more you practice it, it becomes part of you. So the instrument is really you. You're not playing a clarinet. I'm not playing a clarinet. I'm being myself. I can only be myself if the clarinet cooperates. It doesn't have to cooperate that much, but a good amount. And then I can be myself and the clarinet disappears, and I disappear, and then all you hear is music. See, I didn't know I was going to do that, Maury. I had no idea. So the clarinet's leading me. I'm, there's two things happening. I'm not playing. Sometimes the clarinet is playing me. Sometimes I think I'm playing the clarinet. That's when it's wrong. That's when things are not quite right. When you think you're playing the clarinet, already there's too much separation between you and the clarinet. And then it's not really happening. So when it's just the music. <laughs> It tickles my heart. It's got such a sweet sound. 